Eddie Clone EC Details, Sunday morning vibes. If you're watching this, I hope you're having a blessed day. Uh, if you went to church, hope the Lord edified you. If you don't believe in that, uh, hit the subscribe. Believe in that, okay? Um, with that said, let's talk about a few things that uh, we're going we're gonna to do today. So I have this truck in this shop. I was going to do ADS, and I felt like, you know what? I'm going to take a break with ADS. Not because I hate them. Because I got to introduce other brands. You know, I got to introduce other people. I want to talk about this brand that reached out to me. Uh, shout out to Tim for hooking us up. Uh, his name is Jim. He owns uh, this brand here. You're seeing it all over the internet. It is called Next Level. So Next Level is a company out of Indiana. Uh, USA made. Here's what I love about this. See that right there? It says in, in Dios we trust. Well, oh my gosh, she's preachy. Bro, okay, then don't watch on Sunday because you're going to get like, the Lord loves you. And then you're going to be like, I hate this guy. And then you're going to be like, I love this guy, but I hate him. But then, you know what I'm saying? We could believe in different politics and still be friends. Ask JB. We, different politics. Anyway, I want to go over their soap today. You know what, today we have a 2016. It's, it's wild. I already cleaned the, the, the tires and rims. Um, but... Where he's coming in for ceramic coating. This car is freshly painted like two months ago, but you can see it here. I was doing a rinseless wash test on that. That's how the paint looks. Uh, if we go around the car here, you can just see it's just, it's just dirty, man. The whole thing is dirty. So we're gonna use Next Level. Um, we're gonna use their microfiber towel that he sent me, a uh, drying towel. Uh, we're gonna use that today. We're gonna use their tire shine today. If you haven't seen it on Jamie the Cleaners, uh, it did it pretty good for a water soluble tire shine. With this, you have to, the soap, look, look, you see, look, the soap is thick, okay? So take it easy. It's a thick soap. You want to put it in uh, hot water, okay? I put about an ounce in there. I don't measure it because when I put it in a measuring cup, it is no bueno. It's like honey, kids. Uh, you want to put it in hot water, and then with the hot water inside of your foam candy, you close it. Uh, if I had to give this phone canning a rating based on just first time vibes, not really a fan of the small reservoir uh, here. Uh, it doesn't, the one thing about Griots that I've been appreciating is that it doesn't leak. So look at this, you see, it leaks, trash. All right, get yourself an MJJC, MTN. This, this is not just first time vibes, right? You're gonna mix it up. You're gonna add some here. That's all you need. You see how thick that was, bro? That was thick. More. And it is closed all the way. I do have a friend's love, uh, but the foam is not great out of the foam cannon. I, I believe it's more of a bucket soap. And you can see that it's real runny. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit to see if it pulls down all the dirt that we're seeing here. Cause you want a good lubricating soap. It does feel kind of gritty, but that's the paint itself. But you can see it here, how it looks. Um, I might switch soaps to wash this car and use it for a bucket wash But for a foam cannon soap gym, the one thing I'm thinking is just You're gonna have to improve that a tiny bit. So you can see See it's clean it looks clean, but I wouldn't I, I don't trust it enough. I mean you can see it's clean. You can see it there, it's clean. Uh, so it did take all the dirt off. I'm gonna switch it up and go to Built Hammer Touchless. I'm gonna do it uh, at 5% PIR. That means half my foam cannon, half of water based on my specs. Uh, we're gonna let that dwell and then I'll spray that off and then do the contact wash with shampoo. That's how I would use this one. I would use a higher pH soap, spray it off and then do my contact wash with their shampoo because it's that good. Um, and it smells real good. So let me bust that out to show you. The hamber out of black line foam cannon. The foam cannon does do good. We're gonna spray that on the whole car. Anytime you do built hamber, you have to let it sit for five minutes to let it do its thing. It is a sugar based type of soap. Uh, I've been testing it. Shout out to my sponsor, Tim. Uh, we traded, I don't know what we traded for that, but he said, you got just a bro Smith. He always, this is, this is how Tim says it. It's the best, dude, it's the best. And then I got Tim talking like he's from the hood, right? One of the smartest people I know. He's like, hey man, that's no cap. I'll bust the cap. I'm like, Tim, you can't just roll around. Some people are gonna shoot him up, dude. That's suspect. But back to this topic, next level. So 
After I let Bill Hamber sit on the paint for about five minutes, we're gonna use this, okay? We're gonna use this here um, as the contact wash. I do wanna talk pros. It smells real good as a bucket wash. It's up there with everything that we, we use. It's super slick, it smells good, and you can tell it's a quality soap. It reminds me of a lithium product here called Double Tap where not the smell is intoxicating, it smells real good, but just the quality of soap it is. That's what it reminds me of. For the soap to do its thing for five minutes, what do you do? I sit here and think about what next video are we coming out? And I think that's an important question. Uh, we have a grilled, if you haven't seen the rinse and wash video, watch it. I was super depressed, cheeks. It was not great. Grills, you mean banging stuff. That one was a miss. Uh, I have ADS that I wanna do, you know, um, ADS products have been, some of my go-to staples for like adapt, things of that nature. DIY, I have their whole line I wanna do. I think DIY and Ivan and their team is like phenomenal. In my opinion, one of, one of those products that have many bangers. Uh, I don't like their clean and shine, they know that. Ivan, don't cat, don't cat, Ivan. You know and I know that you know that I know that you know that I don't like that. Um, next level, man, there's so much. I bought the whole Coach Kemi line. So we're gonna test that. Then we have Shine Supply. We have Labo. I got Obsessed Garage stuff, so I switched out like my gun, my reel, my hose, bought the Masmatic stuff, so I wanna review those. I got a Viper C. So much going on in this channel, I'm so stoked. Uh, this is me jabbering, because I have to wait for this crap. All right, five minutes, let's spray her off. I sprayed it off. We're gonna do the bucket wash now. Um, like I said, for this one, I would not foam on. I would just use something high alkaline, spray that off, do the contact wash with what's in the bucket. Uh, I'm using a Klein. I'm using a Klein, a Klein microfiber mitt here. Uh, and the soap, like I said, it's real lubricious. Let's get rolling. Oh, slick, dude. Like I said, this is some of the best bucket soap I have ever used in terms of slickness. Grab the top section first. You don't want to do scratches or marring, so proper wash technique is always required. I don't do two buckets because it took everything off. I just use my grit guard and then do that. All right, so peep this. I'm going to use Absolute as the drying aid. Why? Why aren't you using your amplifier? Because I am going to ceramic coat this. Does this get freshly painted? So I'm going to see the paint. I'm going to review it. I don't want anything to mask it. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So now we're gonna test their towel. We're gonna test it with Absolute uh, as my drying aid. So you spray Absolute on all over. You don't want to, um, I don't never dry, dry, <laughs> never dry, dry. Uh, and I'm not using my other stuff because I'm gonna ceramic coat this. And I spray it all over because I don't want water spots. It's got nice fibers and then we're gonna dry. Yeah, that's a nice towel. It's a nice towel, nice. You wash the car, I showed you the drying towel. The drying towel stopped, one drying towel did the whole car. It holds a lot of water. Good drying towel, bro. Amazing drying towel. Now we're gonna go over the wheel uh, dressing. He sent me his applicator. I'm not an applicator kind of guy. I'll show you with the applicator. Uh, I'm more of a brush, especially for the big knobby tires. You know what I'm trying to say? Do you know what I'm trying to say? I hear you, Papa Smurf, I hear you, yes. It's everyone's own preference, you're right. My own preference is the actual brush. So I'm gonna get up, grab my brush, and then I'm gonna get to work here. Now, cool thing, let's talk about the soap. Um, here's how I'm gonna use it, and here's what I hope he does. One, hope he does, makes it a little thinner, more, more detergent-wise, in order to be good in a foam cannon. Two, uh, hope he sells gallons, because the, the whole soap itself, the, this, this soap, it's a great soap. It's like up there with lithium, in my opinion, for a bucket soap. So we're gonna grab his tire gel here. Tire, it smells like it does have some protection on it. Okay, it's gonna be a little thicker. I always shake the bottle. I always shake the bottle, I don't know why. Have it. Um, the consistency is that of NSP95, see? If you're gonna do this the right way, grab the edge of the brush, come in, then go in at the bottom. If you have extra, just grab a brush, pick that extra up here, because you don't want that to sling. And that is enough to do the whole tire. 
And that's a nice look. Nice look. Make sure I grab these edges here. This is why, so when you grab this, go around the edge like that, so you grab it all. There we go. We're gonna let that dry. So this is a water-based tire gel. Um, it's long lasting, it's a gel formula, protects for months, not days and weeks. Uh, and I'm, he says protects for months, not days, I'm, we're gonna test it. But so far, I'm, uh, I'm digging the look. If you're watching this, I wanna, think, I wanna do two things. I wanna thank you and then I wanna support you. So I'm gonna put his link in the description below. First of all, I wanna shout out to Fab Automotive because he started the trend of trying his products and giving him a chance. He does, the tire gel is an amazing, <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at it like, dang, that's a good tire. That's a good tire shine. And I'm a tire shine, you know, you know, I'm that guy, bro. I'm that guy that I always look at tire shines. I'm like, oh, they did it to themselves. This one's a good one. Um, how long it lasts, I don't know. If you saw Jamie's video, it looked like it wasn't lasting a while, but I'm gonna let that dry for two days. Uh, customer's gonna pick it up. I'm gonna finish ceramic coating the car. Um, but yeah, go buy yourself some soap. Remember, like if you need a good bucket soap, there's a few companies that make a bucket soap that works. This is one of those that you'll want to use as a follow-up soap to like a heavy decon or something like that where you could just come back, the whole panel's ready to go, and you do your contact wash. It was slick, lubricious, and it smelled amazing. Uh, the foam cannon, I think I could have got it to foam more if I used more, but I'm not in the habit of wasting good soap. I'm not in the habit of wasting good soap. I use good soap, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with that, this is Eddie Cologne. Thank you for watching. Have a happy Sunday. Hope the Chief loses. Maybe they, I hope they win. I don't care who wins. I'm going to be honest. But I hope you stay healthy. You have a good time. And I'll see you next week as we introduce another brand. Let's go.